Mabu, hi, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. Men with younger wives are more satisfied, while women with older husbands are not. Something I want to talk about today here on Love Beyond the Sea, because um, a lot of people like I did that marry a woman from the Philippines are looking at age gaps. And, you know, just because you can do that doesn't mean it's the best thing to do. I did. I have a wife that's much younger than I am, and, you know, I hadn't given it a, a whole lot of thought um, trying to end the long drought of singleness, but we did get married, and um, while it's popular, I know other people that, uh, that don't have those age gaps, and so this is kind of another age gap video. It comes from an article in the Huff Post. Please leave your comments. This is about um, satisfaction, uh, marrying someone your own age, and they say... When it comes to settling down, most people look for the following qualities in a long-term partner. Shared values, honesty, sense of humor, trustworthiness, and passion. But what about age? According to a new study published in the Journal of Population Economics, I think this came out about five years ago, your spouse's age, they say, will most likely determine the length of your marriage as well as how much satisfaction you derive from it. Now, this research looked at the data of more than 17,000 Australians, found that both men and women tended to be more satisfied with a younger spouse and more dissatisfied with an older spouse. Something to um, remember when you're an older Westerner uh, looking for a younger Filipina. I was 53. My wife was 26. So, yeah, this would definitely apply to us and many of you out there uh, as you've been in touch with me. They say we find that men who are married to younger wives are the most satisfied, and men who are married to older wives are the least satisfied, noted the study's co-author. So it doesn't say, didn't say they're not satisfied, they're less satisfied than the men who married uh, younger wives. They also say, this is the part that is kind of um, perplexing, well, not, not really, maybe. It says that women are also particularly dissatisfied when they're married to older husbands and particularly satisfied if they're married to younger husbands. So in the case of the foreigners who are older marrying the Filipinas who are younger, well, you hear a lot of guys say they're happy. It's great, you know, and, and I would say I'm very happy as well. You don't always hear from the Filipina, you know, how she's feeling at that time. And uh, many of my videos will talk about, you know, particulars of the age gap relationship. But this, this comment here I thought was really interesting because, you know, if you have that dichotomy, the, the husbands, they love their younger wives, younger wives not quite so satisfied with their older husbands. What can a guy do about that when he goes to look for a wife in the Philippines and he's thinking, well, how about I just start at like um, 20 years, 20 years age gap? Well, I want to, um, well, let's think about that. He knows what he's going to be satisfied with. You know, he figures, you know, sexually beautiful wife, um, companionship, uh, feel important, maybe care at the end of his life you know he's thinking about that and the women you know they obviously want to be in a position where they don't have to worry about what they're going to eat whether they're going to starve to death whether mama and papa are going to you know struggle and so they're looking for a better way for them to live evidently the filipino men don't seem to be too interested you know with these women when they turn to about 30 years of age, a kind of uh, old maid syndrome. Uh, but that, you know, how satisfied is she with these older guys? Well, here's my suggestion before I run out of time. If you're going to look for a younger woman, um, to make sure that she's satisfied, of course, first thing that comes to mind is, is, you know, sexually be able to meet her needs. And, um, you know, you generally probably aren't going to be able to completely because she's a younger woman. And if you're not a younger man, things are going to be different. So 
learn to please her. Have an open mind, learn to please her. Um, if she wants to go do things, last last thing she wants is to be told, no, I, I just don't care. I'm uninterested. I'm too tired. Um, it's a new new part of life for you. You marry a young woman, you have to get used to young woman um, desires and goals and um, go travel with her. Let her buy things the younger woman wants to wear or have. Uh, that would that would help in her to find more satisfaction. I'm just naming things off the top of my head here. Also, um, her, well, let's say talk about clothes. Let's say she uh, she wants to do something with your wardrobe, as mine did with me. You know, be open to saying, okay, you know. You can change these pants and these. I guess I'm wearing these shirts and these shoes and and so on. Um, those are these are little things. Now, more bigger things that can help if you're an older man married to a younger Filipina is take satisfaction in her family. Um, ask her about her family. Follow up on her family when when things she tells you what's happening. Um, when you're married, of course, I think that's different. You want to give money to the, the woman. This is not talking about when you're just dating. I'm talking about marriage here, where their expectations ramp up compared to dating. Um, so don't be stingy with her uh, unless she, you know she's working and making her own money, which she probably will want to do. And if the hus older husband says, no, I don't, I don't, don't trust you out there, or we got enough money, then she's probably not can respond to that very well. She might say, oh, okay, you know, I, okay. That doesn't mean she wants to stay home. She wants to be busy. She wants to be doing things. You'll have to adapt to her wanting to spend potentially a lot of time, maybe an annoying amount of time, talking in another language to, you know, people back home, classmates, family. And that can maybe get old for a while, you know, if you don't understand what's being said. Um, but you have to get used to that. You know, her music, movies, those sorts of things, uh, favorite celebrities and so on, might not resonate with you. Um, but you have to find a way, because I, I can believe these statistics, that the older women are, or the younger women are most dissatisfied with their older husbands. So he's got some decisions to make about the way he's going to treat her and you know the way he's going to think another thing you know if he doesn't treat her like a like a, a daughter that's good she's not his daughter shouldn't treat her like that should treat her like a grown young woman and those things will help now I don't know when I am curious to know when these relationships don't work out what exactly the reason is, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think I've known of any personally that didn't work out. All the foreigners and Filipinas I know here in Nebraska have been married for a while, and uh, I don't know that they were ever married to another Filipina before. So anyway, you got to trust that woman too. That's another thing. If you're going to spy on her, watch her every move, because she's younger and you don't trust her, well, that's that's on you. you. You need to marry somebody that you trust. But let me know what you think about this topic, and and you know the statement that uh, men who had younger wives are most satisfied, and uh, women were particularly dissatisfied when they were married to older husbands. Seems like a problem in waiting if you're looking for a younger love beyond the sea.